Hey everyone, this video was filmed August 14th, 2021. This is my last video of the summer, and I figured I'd share it with you in the heart of winter. Thanks so much for watching, and enjoy this boat spotting video. Alright, let's get on the inflatable, get on out there. Alright, we are now on the uh, inflatable here, and uh, we're immediately greeted by a lake boat in the ocean. <laughs> And it has Massachusetts registration on it, which makes it even sadder uh, because that belongs in New Hampshire. All right, <laughs> let's continue and uh, find some saltwater boats. Well, we've got our first Boston Whaler of the night, a very, very special one, and uh, we'll head right over to it. But what we're, what we're looking at is a 17 Guardian. Very, very cool. We've got a Honda on it, looks to be a 90. Very, very cool Brunswick center console. We also have a tow hitch on it as well. Oh, it's not a 90, it's a 100. Very cool. That is a very, very clean boat. Black steering wheel, Garmin GPS. Very, very nice Guardian Boston Island. Well, I never said I'd uh, ever film a boat like this and, and put it on the channel but here we go we've got a 43 silverton and uh i'm very curious to hear your guys's thoughts on this huge lump of fiberglass <laughs> let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking and here we have an azimuth this is a very interesting boat i'm sure it takes the waves well i'm not a fan of the styling but this is another 43 foot boat as well um and it just is so much better styled than that 43 silverton although i still not really a fan of it but it looks decent though nice windows i'm sure it offers very good living okay so in front of us here we have a 33 th 33 foot i believe uh chris craft with twin 300s this is really cool i'm not sure if the camera picks this up but it's almost like two-tone depending on how you look at it in the night this is amazingly cool um chris craft has just made some beautiful center consoles recently i think they look amazing and I think the quality really is there. We've got a nice dive door, Yamaha power, three blade stainless props. This just looks really nice. And you'll notice too, there's a whole bunch of wood accents, which really throws it back to the Chris Craft roots. I like the uh, quilted seats as well. Those look really nice and also nice cover on it. But yeah, really, really nice Chris Craft. Okay, so we're approaching something pretty cool. This is a back cove. And what makes it different than other back coves is the fact that it has twin Yamaha 300s. Very cool boat. It's also white, or at least white-ish, which is really cool. A lot of them seem to be in a bluer, dark blue color. This just looks really nice, very nice icing glass. We got a swim ladder down right there. Very cool boat, looking very good. Also got some cushions in there. Good, good looking boat. And right next to it, we have a 345 Conquest, which is open, really cool. This is a 2008 model made for the 50th anniversary. And it uh, looks really, really nice full glass enclosure as well. And it's got a little power up there. And triple Mercs. And triple Mercs, that's pretty cool. Big Trojan right here as well. It's not bad. Right here we're pulling up to a new Boston Whaler Conquest in white. This looks really nice. 315 Conquest, twin 300 Mercury Verados. Very nice, beautiful props. That's a good, good looking conquest. And right here we have one of my favorite boats, a Regulator 34 with an Armstrong bracket and triple 300 Yamahas. Looking really, really nice tonight. This is a great all around fishing boat. Very open and they sit so high on the water. What a beautiful example. Nice outriggers too. great pole right there. And right there we actually have a really beautiful Pursuit 405 with triple Yamaha 425s. And fortunately there's one, two, three boats and I believe there's a fourth to the rear, I mean sorry, to the uh, right side of that Pursuit, which goes against COVID protocol. So we're probably gonna have to go over there and tell them to leave. Um, they're putting it all us all at risk. And you know, that's, that's just really disrespectful. Um, what do you think, Nick? We should uh, definitely yeah, the plans. Yeah, we're going to have to go over there and make sure this is it set is not right. right. Yeah, this is not right at all. Very upset. All right, right here we've got a beautiful Guardian again. It 
looks to be a 22 Garden with a 250 Yamaha. This looks amazing. It actually looks really clean. Just a nice, nice example. Stainless steel steering wheel, got a big towing arm, and uh, it also has a bimini, which you don't see too often on uh, Guardians. So that's pretty cool. This is just a really nice example. Look at that thick rub rail as well, all reinforced. Now that is a pretty cool boat. Right now we are going past, I believe, a 43-foot Midnight Express with quad 450 racing Verados. It's a very cool color. It's kind of grayish. Lots of seating. Very cool speaker system. I've shown this boat on the channel a few times. It looks very, very, very nice. Look how big it is. You can see how the bow kind of slopes forward. You guys have to let me know what you think of that whole design there. That is a very cool boat. A very fast one like that as well. Okay, I'm not the biggest Key West fan, so sorry if you guys hate on this. I'm literally only filming this boat for the Evinrude Outboard, which just looks really, really nice. It's actually one of Nick and I's favorite cowling designs in the entire industry. It might be an unpopular opinion, but it is just so unique looking. It's not like that Suzuki right there. It's just so unique. 250, two-tone, white in that kind of blackish gray color. Not a Key West guy, but that Evinrude kind of makes the boat. All right, we're pulling up on the Tiki Hut right here. It is a dual hull or catamaran Tiki Hut. It's got a Johnson engine on the back, Florida registration, very cool. It's a little decent boat, very nice. And here is a 190 Montauk. This is one of my favorite boats. It's a 2018 model, so 60th anniversary edition, which I don't really think added all that much, but it has uh, all of the canvas. It's got a really nice Mercury. It looks to be a 150. This is just a great boat. I'd love to see this on the channel next summer. Very, very cool. We've got a few pretty cool boats. 23 foot regulator with a 300 Yamaha. Then we have a Pursuit ST310. Very cool, named Tomcat. I actually like the name on it. Very interesting. And then we've got another Pursuit right here. This looks really decent as well. Pretty unique uh, bow color. I really don't mind it. Nice windless, good Garmin. I like their lighting setup up top. Looking really, really nice. Pursuit S328, very cool. And then right here, we've got another back cove. This one's a little bit more unique because instead of the Yamahas, it's got Suzuki's. It has twin Suzuki 350s. That's the biggest engine Suzuki makes right now. Look how nicely this boat sits. Really, really cool. I believe this is a back cove 34. Wow, um, so we have counter rotating props. That's really, really cool. You, I did not expect to see that. Very, very nice. All right, we're gonna go by two amazing Hinkleys. Here we have another Hinkley. Um, really beautiful exterior gel coat, lots of wood options. And this one I believe has twin diesel engines. That's awesome. Very, very nice boot. And right behind that, oddly enough, we have another beautiful Hinkley. Let's go and have a look at this one. This is what competes with all the Boston Whalers that we show on this channel, all the Conquests. This is a beautiful Hinkley. I believe it's 43 feet. It has triple Yamaha 425s. It's got a Seagull on the roof. It has Fleur. It's got radar. It has everything. Nice outriggers on it. This is just a beautiful boat. And it doesn't even have the counter rotating props like that, those Suzuki's that I showed earlier. But anyway, this looks absolutely amazing. Super understated as well. Notice that it, you only see Hinkley twice in the name and then on that H on the side. So that's really cool. Very low key, but also high key boat. And then there's American Flyer, that Hinkley I just showed you. And you can see all of its beautiful woodwork and the fact that it's enclosed. All right, guys. Well, that was it for uh, this video. This will be the last uh, Boston Whaler slash boating video of the summer. Thank you guys so much for an amazing season. And uh, we'll end this video with a little bit of a uh, speed run right on the water. We got some chop tonight. Um, but it looks pretty good though. I think we should uh, get out and enjoy this. All right, we're gonna give it a little bit of speed. You ready? Yep.
just want to thank everyone for an amazing 2021 on the water. The channel really took off and I couldn't have done it without all the support from you guys, my very few subscribers, but I really do appreciate it. 2022 is going to be a great year. Thank you again so much for watching and look forward to a lot of great boating, truck, and marine content in the following season. Thank you so much. Have a great night.